Uh, welcome guys in our talent open studio tutorial in this session we are going to learn how to calculate the running total of a sales field for a year for a month or for a particular group so how can we accomplish this kind of stuff in talent open studio and from the beginning to till late so how can we do that so we are going to back our talent open studio and we have a blank job and uh, I have already created a metadata for it and just going to drag and drop it to my job and it will ask the component and I am going to choose the file input delimited okay now you can see uh, you can see I want to see the data so I am going to use T log row component this component is very useful if you want to see the runtime data so I am just going to link my sales to my T log row one component and double click on it now in schema I am going to choose edit schema and here you can see this is the Uh, this is the input uh, column and that is the output column for T log row component. Okay, now I am going to choose the more as a table. Okay, and just run my job. Okay, now you can see the output here. Okay. Now these are the header of the data and this is the data is containing in the file. Now I want to calculate my running total. So I am going to use T Java T Java flex component. This component is very useful to write your own custom code. So here I am just going to click my T log row to T Java flow component component and in T Java flow component I am going to the edit schema okay and just copy all the column from input T log row to T Java flex output component and going to add a new column like run okay cell okay and now I want to change the data type of it so I am going to use float okay now I want to see the output from T Java flex component so I am going to choose another T log row component okay and click my t java flex component to t log row to component and in this and, and uh, you can see this is the input which is coming from t java log flex and output for t log row underscore to component okay now i am going to shoot table mode and run my job okay now you can see this is the output which is coming from t log row to component and you can see run cell column is going to be null so what i need to do here i need to go back my t java flex component and here you can see there are three options like start code main code and end code so we are going to write some code here to calculate my running total okay 
so we are going to pack our t java as you can see we have defined the new colon run cell as a float and our cells also in float so what i need to do here so in the start option i have to declare a variable like call float data type should be float f cell okay that is f cell and we are going to give some value to it and assign 0 to it then okay what i need to do here in the main section what i need to do here f cell equal to plus equal to now that is my row 1 row 2 row 3 and row 4 okay so i need to pull the information from the t log row 1 so i am saying that row 2 comma dot and the name of the column is total cells okay so what are what are we doing uh, what are we doing here we are just adding our previous cell to next cell and print it system dot out dot print ln okay and pass my variable f cell okay now uh, please keep in mind every row should be terminated by semicolon now i am going to run my job again and you can see the running total yeah. then what i need to do here i am going to back my the java flex component and because this is the row 3 so i am going to pass the value row 3 dot run cell equal to f cell okay so in this case we have assign this value to our next column and just run our job now you can see this is the running total yeah that is 100 plus 100 100 to 200, uh, 300 plus 300 equal to 600 and then 400 equal to 1000 yeah so you can see it is very easy to calculate the roll, uh, rolling total or running total for a column now if you want to create the running total for a specific group so i need to add some more code here so first of all i am going to declare a new variable and i here so here what we are going to do we are going to calculate the running total for a year and it will start for the next year also so what i am going to do here i am going to pass a if condition if row 2 dot sales year year not equal to i year that is our local variable and then we are open the condition and saying that so 
guys you can see I have power condition I am checking or not equal to I year which is our variable and we are in this case what we are going to say if control C what I am going to do for F Y cell F cell equal to 0 that means it would be start for the new year then I am going to do here uh, what I am going to do here I am going to passing uh, uh, reassign it with 0 okay then I year what I am going to do here in I year I am passing the row to sales year okay dot values uh, sales year so guys please keep in mind that every column should be break by semicolon in java so i am going to run this now see the result so we are going to observe the result again so guys what i am going to do here so you can see that is a uh, running uh, rolling sales for the year 2015 and you can see the sales for 2015 is going to 1000 then the new year has been started then our running sales is going to be zero and reassign with the new sale so guys you can see it is very easy so for furthermore we are going to add more column in t in edit schema so i am what i am going to do here i am going to add a new column that's that year y year run cell okay okay so in this so we are going to show you yearly running sales for that particular year and data type is float and we are going to take it up up okay now we are going to run the job again okay now what we are going to do here you can see this column is null so what i am going to do here going to back my t java flex component and here i am going to define a new column saying float f y cell equal to zero okay and terminate is by semicolon so here in this condition we are going to say that f y cell equal to zero okay and here we are going to pass just wait i think i have yeah actually i was missing this condition okay so here you can see that is f cell so here i am going to add new column control c and control v saying that uh, year that is name of column year y e a r year run cell equal to f y Set. okay now you can see we have three variable one is our overall running total or running to uh, rolling total one is for your yearly total and one is for your year check now we are going to run this job again yeah so guys you can see uh, uh, 100 that is running f y cell equal to yeah one more thing I need to do here in F Y cell. I forget to add this column. Yeah, Control C and Control V. That is F Y cell. Okay. 
the rolling up sales for the overall and rolling up sales for the specific year and then we are going to add this values to our columns uh, run cell is our column for overall rolling up cell or uh, accumulative cell cell sales and uh, second one is yearly run cell cell that means uh, our yearly running sales so we are assigning this value here so here you can keep in mind that uh, we are checking if our running year is equal to our running data year then we are rolling up otherwise we are reset fy cell value and our year value by year value so we are going to run this job now okay so guys you can see that just i'll give you little more space to show the actual thing okay so guys you can see that that is our yearly sales and that is our overall rolling up sales so here you can easily see that then whenever a year going to be changed our yearly running sales is going to be reassign and start with that particular yearly sales but our overall running total is carrying the same uh, logic and it is going to be add incoming sale to running sales so guys it is very easy to apply this method rolling method or running total or accumulative sum whatever you want to call it in talent open studio so you if you want to add more columns and more logic you can do that so guys please subscribe my youtube channel to learn more on talent open studio ssrs ssis sql server azure sql server azure data modeling azure data factory Python, R, Tableau, Power BI and we are coming with more videos on various topics and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for watching us.